President Obama is uh, standing behind the NSA's once secret programs tracking Americans' phone calls and emails. He says the surveillance is necessary to keep the country safe. Nobody's listening to the content of people's phone calls. This program, by the way, is fully overseen not just by Congress, but by the FISA court, a court specially put together to evaluate classified programs to make sure that the executive branch or government generally is not abusing them and that they're, it's being carried out consistent with the Constitution uh, and rule of law. All right, so that's the president uh, early in the week in Washington. Now he's in California hosting the Chinese president. And so is all of this NSA surveillance talk kind of upstaging that summit? Uh, Jack Quinn is former White House counsel and worked for President Bill Clinton. So, uh, Jack, good to see you. Nice the president's you, agenda is being interrupted yet again. Uh, this time it is particularly tough uh, for the president, or perhaps is it not, uh, to offer assurances that Americans are not being treated like they are the enemies. Is this tough? Uh, a tough message for the president to kind of uphold? Well, anytime you have uh, something as important as this summit meeting between the United States and China interrupted by any other news that distracts the president, it's not a good thing. Hmm. Having said that, I think that he has been uh, very clear, very forthright, and very forceful in his defense of, of what the government is doing in this regard uh, in an effort, I believe, to try to put this to rest quickly. Does it seem that um, this really is not a partisan issue? You've got Republicans, you've got Democrats all defending this tracking, this metadata. Uh, so if, if this is damaging, to whom is it damaging? Uh, you know, I don't think it's damaging. Uh, I really don't think it's politically, politically damaging. Mm -hmm. There are some who've tried to, you know, connect this to other things like the, the so-called IRS scandal and so on. These are completely unrelated things. Look, um, there are no absolutes in how the country is run and in how we ensure the security of the American people. Mm -hmm. Almost all Americans treasure their privacy. They don't want the government snooping in their business. But almost every single American, I, I dare say every American, also values the safety and security of our government. So we have to, uh, of our country, so we have to balance these things. And I believe that in the operation of, of this particular surveillance uh, mm -hmm. program, that's being accomplished. Um, you know, what, what the president said is absolutely true. The government's not listening to the content of anybody's telephone conversations. We're really trying to sort of connect the dots here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, for example, um, they, there are data there about phone calls being placed and mm -hmm. to whom they're placed and the duration of the call. If, if you were to make a phone call to a number that is known to be used by senior Al-Qaeda uh, operatives, uh, and you repeatedly make calls like that, and you're making calls that take longer than it takes to say, gee, I'm sorry, I dialed the wrong number. You're on the phone for 15 minutes or so. Uh, the government's going to take a keen interest in that and begin looking at you. So as somebody so well said uh, earlier, uh, when we're looking for a needle in a haystack in these surveillance operations, and, and these data are the haystack, you have to have that in order to be able to find the dots that you want to connect, in order to find the bad guys and stop them. And we've been given assurances mm. by both Republican and Democratic leaders of the Congressional Intelligence Committees that, mm. in fact, these operations have enabled our government to interfere with, to put a halt to um, terrorist mm -hmm. attacks, not unlike the Boston Marathon bombing. And, and the president uh, tried to offer those assurances once again yesterday. Do you feel like that's enough said by the president, or will the White House have to take yet another approach to try to offer assurances to the American people that in order to secure your safety, there has to be this kind of probing, if that's going to be the message from this White House? Well, I think the fact that you and I are talking about it suggests that uh, the president hasn't really put it to rest yet. As I said earlier, I think he did a terrific job of explaining this. Um, I suspect that because some other news outlets um, are continuing to mischaracterize what's going on here, that it will take some repeating of the president's message really to put this to rest once and for all. 
Um, and, you know, it bears emphasis that uh, it, it's important that the Congress continue oversight. As the president said, you have congressional oversight, you have um, federal courts looking at this. Mm. Um, there has been created a privacy and civil liberties oversight board, which will be looking at this and making sure we strike the right balance in these things. Yeah. Um, and, and so you want vigilance here. Mm -hmm. um, nobody wants to see governmental powers abused, mm. have these things used for the wrong purposes, political or otherwise. Um, but I, I think based on what we've seen so far, um, mm. there's really nothing for the American people to be concerned about. And you've seen so many times that when you put it to the American people, they're willing to give up a little privacy in order to make sure our country's safe. All right, we're going to have to leave it right there. Jack Quinn. Good to see you. Thanks so much. Nice to see you. Have a good day.